Hello. Today I'll be showing you a little program I made for encrypted communication. Or, put plainly, a crypto chat. It is built on the base of a simple multi-threaded socket-based chat application, which worked by starting a listener on a socket and spawning a new thread for every accepted connection. And each client thread instance runs a set of loops running through arrays of print writers linked to the server socket connection. Each, each writer is initialized and linked in its own thread. And basically, anytime someone sends a message, the message is sent to the server and is then sent to all the print writers in the array. The client just has a loop checking for writer socket, checking the writer socket for messages. I improved this program by adding message timestamps, changing the interface color, font color, font type, added connection and disconnection notifications, sound to each of these message types, file transfer capability, server console logging, and lastly, but most importantly, message encryption based on an algorithm I designed and implemented. The encryption is password-based, and the server creates, quote, rooms based on a hash generated from the password, also made by an algorithm that I designed. So basically, only users with the same session password can communicate with each other or see each other's messages. And now, I will take the time to give a little disclaimer. First of all, I do not recommend using passwords under 5 characters as the encryption in chat may not function as expected due to the nature of the encryption algorithm. Secondly, despite quite a bit of bug testing, which I have done, there are still more than likely to be quite a few of the bugs left in the program. So in case of anything, just restart the application. Basically, if things start bugging out, reboot it. And lastly, the encryption algorithm may contain flaws or unexpected shortcomings due to my ex regardless of my extensive testing and entropy evaluation. So, basically I wouldn't go sending your credit card info over this. Probably not a good idea. Anywhere. But yeah, here's the program itself. Oh, come on. Oh, whoops. There we are. Okay. So, let's launch the application here. There it is. I'm going. Okay, so the uh, server is a command line, so that needs to be run from the command line. So. I'm just gonna pull that up real quick. Java. Jar. Go to chat server. There we are. Now I'm gonna leave it as the default port for the sake of making this easy. All right, now it's running, as you can see set here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and open the client. And if you want, if, since I have this on a local connection, since it's just running on the computer, I can leave it blank or put in local host. Either one works. Uh, port number is blank for default. And then I choose a screen name, so I'm going to use my name, Rod, and the session password. So I'll do something like, I love cats, because cats are awesome. And by that sound, we have a successful connection. <laughs> and from here on, it's pretty simple. So can type messages, and as you can see, I am in session or room 079. So, if I type hello, I can see it, and you can see the encrypted output in the server. So, if you can descramble this, tell me, because I'd be impressed, and I'd want to know how. But, anyway, so let's launch another client for the sake of example. So, I'm going to connect to the same server, I'm going to have a different screen name, say he's Bob. Okay? And Bob is going to connect to I Love Cats. And as you can see, I have a message that Bob connected to the same session. Well, now, he can say things as well. And you can see, he pops up in the server console as well, and his message is function. But let's say we have someone who's a smarty pants and has almost guessed our password. Let's call him Bob's Doppelganger. 
and let's say he writes, I love cat. As you can see, he's missed one letter of the password. But he is still in his own session. Even a single letter difference in the password will mean that you will not get the same session and your messages will not work. So the algorithm is pretty well functional in that respect. So we're going to disconnect him now. Little disconnection sound I put in with a modem as well. And say, for my last feature, which I have implemented, you want to transfer a file to your buddy. If you type the words FILE in capital letters in the input box and hit ENTER, a little window will pop up letting you upload the file. You can choose any file, but not folders. So, where did I put Joseph Stalin? Okay, so now the client will get a notification to download the file. Now you're going to want to decline the download if you're the one who sent it, because you don't want to download the file you sent. So we're going to hit no, but you want to, if you, the other person wants to accept the file, he can hit yes, and the file will automatically open. And hello, Joseph Stop. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's basically the program and what it does. You can see all the output here. Oh yeah, uh, file URLs are also encrypted, so that is also not visible, but yeah. So, that is basically the premise of my program and what it does. If you enjoyed this video, or have, and, uh, or have any questions or comments, feel free to like and comment in the, uh, below, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and uh, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll have links for these uh, jar files in the description, I'll try to keep them updated as I work on them, fixing bugs and stuff, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Oh, and one more thing, I currently have a server running on my web server, and the IP address is famichev.asuscom.com. Port's on default, and as you can see that connected in, and for screen name obviously you can choose anything, but basically, if you want to test it out, or uh, use it with friends, you can go ahead and use that IP address, I have a server on it, uh, running on it pretty much 24-7. And if you want to talk to me, or uh, contact admin somehow, use the password public to get into the public room, P112, and that's where I'll usually be monitoring messages at, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys real quick.